Okay, 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 I gotta jump into it. Okay, so, 10 of Pentacles in the upright, 9 of Pentacles in the reverse here. If, if you are on the live stream with the running gun YouTube, you guys are getting a treat here. Uh, 10 of Pentacles in the upright, uh, 9 of Pentacles in the reverse here. Um, they offset, and so what they're creating is this Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Um, the Page of Pentacles is here too. So this is a definite confirmation of, yes, the Ace of Pentacles, there's an offer, there's a newness, there's an opportunity for you to execute on, and there's gonna be someone that is going to be uh, sent to you from God, from the highest of highs, from source, from the cosmos, from the ether, from the universe to present it to you. And the Pentacles is going to be, um, yes, yeah, something concrete, something tangible. But with that Ten of Pentacles in the upright, I, I just really, truly do get a sense of, um, oh my God, okay, slow down. Four, pen, four of Wands in the upright. I'm closing my eyes so I don't see more. Four of Wands in the upright. Someone's going to propose to you. Someone's going to propose to you. What can I say? Guys, this isn't just like all hype and no fucking buzz, no sting. This is like read them and weep. We had the 10 of pentacles in the upright offset with the nine of pentacles in the reverse. That lead, led to the ace of pentacles. The actual ace of pentacles came out to confirm this. There's, look at this. There's two, literally, people coming and offering to you. Um... Four of Wands, Four of Wands in the Upright. This is a proposal energy. This is someone who is getting their head out of their ass and they're really kind of seeing the value of you. And they are, this is marriage, this is union, this is celebration, this is high honors is what I'm getting with this Four of Wands in the Upright simulcasting on the Run and Gun YouTube channel. Check that out for more content. Aries energy, springtime energy. This springtime is going to blow up in your face in the best way possible is what I'm getting, Aries. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. We're reading for love. Pentacles all over the board, okay? I can't say so enough. I can't say enough. This is just wonderful. Fantasies, dreams coming true with the Seven of Cups in the upright. Um, you have your pick of the litter. You are picking like the highest of the highs is what I'm getting here because this is such high vibrational golden background energies to boot here. Um, so much so that it's enough to get your nine of pentacles turned right side up. That, that doesn't happen in readings often, but when so much is kind of matched, then it's like, geez louise, like, we are kind of, we're doing this. Like, yes, indeedy, we are doing this. Um, there was a t perfection of emotion here that you had to go to, that you had to go through. There was a perfecting and a refining of your emotions here, okay? I'm not getting this snake imagery as a negative right connotation here 333 on the clock here i'm getting this more so as um you know wisdom or refining uh hindsight energy here uh so wonderful so beautiful you indeed have this 10th and final pinnacle being offered to you off the backdrop of you having kind of full force found your occupation here and you are seriously, seriously creating, carving, and establishing this legacy uh, that you you can't even dream and imagine what's coming and what's being done behind the scenes and what's being worked on. It's such a wonderful reading area. I really don't get this kind of hyped off of just anything. Um, so you got me in rare form, Spirit. Uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Guys, keep going, keep continuing, keep pushing because you are sending shock waves through the quantum realm and you are pulling in all of your blessings, all of your third dimensional uh, manifestations. Tried and true is what I'm hearing though. Tried and true. So beautiful, so beautiful. I love it. You just can't say enough. You can't literally, literally offers on offers. Okay, 10th and final pentacles 
creating legacy, long-lasting, literal proposal, literal fantasy, literal... Again, I'm not reading this Seven of Cups in a negative way. I'm not reading it in a negative way. I'm reading this in... You've almost mastered the kind of pros and cons of all the kind of everything that these cups have to offer. Yes, yeah, coming out of objectionable, challenging energy. Look at the all signs reading too. Yes. Enlightenment. Ten of Wands in the upright with that all signs energy, putting down burdens, enlightening, realizing that certain things had nothing to do with you. They had nothing to do with you. Look at me when I'm, you know, they had nothing to do with you. Really get that. Really let that sink in. It has nothing to do with you. Whether it's strangers on the road, whether it's people pointing, laughing at you, whatever they have to think and feel about your life course and your life direction or how you present yourself, that failed relationship, but nothing to do with you. That person was sorting out their own stuff, their own baggage. In fact, all your relationships, all the negative exchanges and connotations, nothing to do with you to the extent that it's other people's projections and what they're putting on to you or the relationship or the connection. The baggage that they're bringing to the table. You're realizing that. You're seeing that. And that's what's causing for your enlightenment here. With the hangman and the upright. And that's what's going to allow you to really truly get to the truest, best, highest possible relationship, connection, marriage vibes, ten of pentacle vibes. So wonderful. Okay, I gotta leave it there, guys. Um, I gotta move to the Taurus reading and all the other signs now. We got a lot of work to do. Um, so I appreciate you guys. This was a super fun, exciting reading. And, um, you know, holler at your boy uh, for more. Um, on to Taurus. Um, on to Taurus. <laughs>